Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to Against Great Darkness. It is a cross between Galaga and Breakout, but obviously with like modern mechanics and roguelike uh, designs as well. So it's gonna, it has randomized upgrades, some level of meta progression, tons of unlockable characters, and so on and so forth. I played the demo for this a little while ago. Whoops, I guess we're just starting a run. I was gonna look at the characters, but we'll just play Artemis and figure out what we're going to do. The mortals cast you down here. You're mine, pagan. Righto. I love that visu uh, the visual style of this. Be not afraid. I am here to aid you on your ascension. Every angelic entity is equipped with a disc. Throw it ahead and juggle it without losing it to the maw. If you do, if you do, do uh, wait, if you do lose all, do not worry. Okay, move left and right, and then juggle the discs. Now, some of the characters, yeah, get multiples. Some get, like, only one, some, whoops. It's okay, they come back. I think there is one character that does have, like, a downside. Juggling and keeping a certain amount of discs active is important. Many relics require those actions to trigger their powers. Now it's time to learn to clean, uh, learn to cleanse. Take this shield. On activation, it will erase enemy projectiles. Also save your discs from the abyss below. Cleanses recharge between waves, as well as by juggling a fastball. What's a fastball? Excellent. You're worthy of redemption. To escape the depths of hell, you must defeat its minions. Many will be summoned to block your way. You must purge them to move forward. Okay, so Artemis's core special abilities, whoops, is she, yeah, she, she fires the light, light discs, but she also just fires arrows at things. So you have at least somewhat of a, a secondary attack. So we could gain light, which I don't know what that does. I think that's currency. Let's do an event. Stumble upon a demon dressed as a ringleader. It's time to spin. You're ready, aren't you? You sure are! The demon's grin fades. Lucky you. Okay. So I might as well use a cleanse. Ow. I deserve that. I see. So when it's picked up enough speed, that's when it's considered a fastball. So if I can get them with a combo long enough. That's when it uh that's when it gets me another cleanse. I'm still gonna try and use them only sparingly, but I'll use them when I can. So we can go store, gain light. Uh oh, I see. Let's go store. Let's see what we can buy. So these are too expensive for me, but now we know we want to have somewhere between 100 to 200. Uh I could re-roll, I could heal. We'll just get a heal and keep going. And I want to avoid the orbs. And visibility has improved dramatically. I, I played the demo for this previously, and it was... Nope. Goofed them both. Uh, visibility was a little bit on the rough side. And now it feels generally easier to see what's going on. I'm not actually sure what's changed. Doesn't matter that much. I'm not exactly sure what's changed, but it, it, I don't know, it's fine. Just gain some light. 45 motes. I will want to get a shop later. I think for now I'm just going to kind of go for it. It's slightly tempting always to say like, hmm, maybe I should like reboot the run and uh, do this again slightly better where I, I don't waste my money on this or where I don't waste my my mid-round activation on the shop. But it's fine. Okay, let's just grab that one. I probably should have gone for the fastball in retrospect, but whatever. And it seems like every once in a while we periodically fire daggers out as well. I think it does, it's charged based on either hitting the orb or something. Gain light, do an event. Let's do an event. I have a deal for you, a mystery prize for 50 motes. Take the deal. Seed of Dawn. All life starts on the path of the sun. On cleanse, all discs shoot out rays of light, which deal three weapon damage. That's not bad. 
Also, uh, I think previously it would kind of take you out of a run whenever you uh, whenever you stopped at a shop or something. I don't know. It it felt like it was a slightly less smooth transition. I deserve that. And this has felt considerably like faster to play and go through. Which is appreciated. I don't know. I a lot of roguelikes lose a lot of time. Unlike management, busy work, shops, and interruptions. Store or heal. Let's just go for the heal. There's no point in going to the shop unless I have enough money to buy at least one or two perks. Oops. That was one of my light discs there. Nope. Didn't get it. It's fine. The music has also got, like, very lightly a bit of a Bastion vibe. I think it's mostly just the, uh, the piano bits. Nah. But maybe I've just been listening to too much Supergiant lately. I'm kind of... I'm slightly sad. I didn't realize they had a 10th anniversary, like, album collection with, like, a bunch of their, uh, a bunch of their music, uh, on vinyls. And I was like, oh, that would have been nice. Shrine or event? We haven't done a shrine before. Moats for a disc. Not that I'm doing a very good job of juggling all of these discs, but keeping three in play is a huge DPS boost, even if we don't get a perk out of it. I know there's one character later on that only attacks with the disc, and uh, that would be a pretty good boon on him. I'll have to see if we get any... Ah. I'll have to see if we get any cool power-ups. See, gain light, get an event. Let's go for the event. A mysterious cube lays before you. Energy swirls around it, turning white then black. Upon inspection, a small fragment of it is loose. Take a piece. Final stone, last piece of the first prayer, spawns two ever-present stationary paddles that guard the edges. Aye. Ah, deserve that. I was kind of hoping because the, uh... uh I was kind of hoping that the enemy attacks had passed. I'd be safe. I guess what I should do is cleanse more often. I actually wonder if the paddles in the corners... Oh, and I'm dead. It's fine. I wonder if the paddles in the corners actively get me more cleanses. Don't know. Angelic Harp accompanies the Choir of Angels. On a fastball juggle, emits music that lifts disc, discs in front of the uh, paragon until a disc is lost. A leather bag containing the winds of Aeolus. On cleanse, spawn an upwards draft that pushes all discs upwards for a limited amount of time. Okay, we'll just find a lot of these as we go. That's a lot of unlocks. Uh, let's see, so what can I do? Ability to lock items in the shop, gain an additional choice for boss rewards, extra hard at the start. Increase to damage bonus, first reroll is free, additional cleanse. Increase to disc damage. How expensive? 300. And I can invest stuff into it too. Are any of these cheap enough that I can get a point? Nope. All right. I don't think I can buy it, at least with my current setup. So let's just try a different character. So we have him. Uh, let's see, Philosopher's Stone, turning everything to gold. On four juggles, release two barrages of homing projectiles. It's not bad. Or we have him, six juggles, release a barrage of projectiles for two seconds, seven damage per hit. So are these just the different things that they have with them, or can I swap? No, they have them as well. Enemy deaths have a chance to shooting out rays of light. Two juggles, two projectiles penetrate enemies, dealing nine damage. And then there's the bow. 
So what does he have? So Philosopher's Stone, Barrage of Homing Projectiles, dealing weapon damage. Uh, let's see. On Juggle, 20% chance to drop a Chakra. When collected, causes an explosion in a random enemy, which deals 15 explosive damage. And then on Juggle provides a chance to spawn a Shield Guard. Or it's got Galahorn. Holy Spear shoots enemy and fastball juggle damage all present enemies for two weapon damage. I don't know, let's just go uh, with Zealous. I'll probably try all of them. This is not a roguelike I think I'm going to get far in. It gives me Downwell vibes. Uh, I think would be the way I'd describe it. Oops. Oh, do we only have one Light Sphere? Okay, so this is actually more of an attacker. I think maybe the other guy has three. I'll have to see how it goes. But yeah, so it's every couple of juggles, that's when these abilities trigger, maybe. Yeah, so you can kind of see the combo is counting up, maybe? Wow, there it is. Let's just gain some light. That might not have been worth it. I think the trick is actually do events. Okay. Go for that. Oh, cleanse also prevents my spheres from going down. Yeah, I, I think the the big issue that I was running into was I need to use the light sphere more often. Or not the light sphere, the cleanse. I guess this character only has two cleanses, and we're not really getting the fastball. Okay, let's go to an event. No way I can do a store. The spin guy. Get a max HP. I don't think I care too much for the shopkeeper, to be entirely honest. Ooh. Nope, didn't work. Third. Yeah, I don't think I care for the Wheel of Fortune, considering uh, some of them seem like they're going to be pretty negative. And the positives don't seem like they're worth the risk. But maybe I'm wrong about that. I'm also noticing I'm not getting a whole lot of... Or... My orb is actually having some trouble staying in the sky. I wonder if it's one of those that it actually has not the best. Ooh. Uh, it, we might not have as good uh, velocity. So a simple prayer bead, chance per juggle to spawn a new disc. Pile of curios lays before you in the rubble. They look intriguing, but only one catches your eye. So we can... Uh, let's see. Let's go for the trinket. On four juggles, gain 300% attack speed for two seconds. Well, that didn't exactly work. I think, like usual, I'm probably just gonna want to invest in more light discs if I get the chance. Because it seems genuinely worth it. Oh, bounced off the wrong guy just at the wrong time, but that's fine. Because I'm I'm doing considerably better than what I was doing. Oh, that was it. The you know I was talking about the visibility problems that I was having with this game. It's because the enemy projectiles are yellow. Okay, care to play? Okay. Oh, it's. Gambling. Better luck next time. I don't like a lot of these games of chance. I don't have the patience for them. Like, I'm very much the, the guy for... 
what was it? I mean, back in like Pokemon when they had the the I I mean I guess it was the casino. I forget what it was called specifically. Uh But the just do that. Uh I would very much not uh do any of the gambling. I have 111. We could go to a shop. I think I'm going to keep gaining light. Shopping seems impractical, especially if we get a shrine that lets me get another light disc. Yeah, the one immediate problem with this character, I think I'm going to want to switch back to the other, uh, or I want to switch to the middle guy next, is that I'm spending a lot of time not underneath my enemies, so a lot of my special attacks aren't being utilized. Or my my regular attacks aren't being utilized. Whoop. Lost my orb for a second there. All right, go to the shrine. We want to get a disc. Considering I've got some huge bonuses for juggling a bunch of them. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What was I going to say as part of all of this? I don't know. It's somewhere in my head. Oh, right. Enemy projectiles are are yellow. They're very visibly yellow. Uh, and I definitely remember taking a lot more hits from enemies previously. Ah, that breaks the cleanse. That's okay. Eh, yeah, goofed it. It's fine. Send these off. Nope. I'm not going to do it. It is a risk. But yeah, now that I can actually see the enemy projectiles, I don't have as much to worry about. I do have to worry about these skull dudes. I might go out of my way to specifically kill them. Do we want to go to a shrine? Hell yeah. Let's get a third disc. Another cleanse might not actually be a bad idea, too. But yeah, the the more of the the more juggles we get, because it's not chained juggles or anything like that. It's just how how many times you've bounced your discs triggers your abilities. Which is actually quite helpful. Because I can I can use that to very much just do a ton of damage. Just gain light. Right, we've got a boss after this. I have no idea what that's going to entail. Uh, I think I've seen the boss fight once? Something like that. But yeah, I definitely want to... I definitely want to have the character with the homing shots, considering I'm spending a lot of my time bouncing and not a lot of my time actually manually shooting at my enemies. And so it feels like I'm I'm not utilizing everything to the fullest extent. Dang it. Dodged out of the way. I wonder if this actually has keyboard and mouse controls. Because I almost wonder if that'd be more efficient. Do we heal to full? Do I go shopping? I only have 2 HP. We'll get another shop. No, I think I actually have seen this before. In retrospect. Beans. Okay, stay away from that. But oh, come on. At least I've got his pattern.
at least somewhat of his pattern. Dang. I thought I could dodge it. It's fine. And the heart got me. It's fine. Okay, so we get a bunch of unlocks. Do we get much for meta progression? I've... no. We do not. I think I'm gonna have to start beating bosses for that, but that's fine. Let's try the middle guy. Two barrages of homing projectiles deal dealing four damage per hit. I think that should be good. I think this is the guy with the three discs. Yep. Three discs, plenty of HP. Okay, right. And those things cause explosions. Yeah, it seems like whenever I catch a fastball... It might cause that light thing to show up. Go for this. Female demon kneels crying before you. In life, I had... Had nowhere to turn to feed my family. Is this the eternity I deserve? No need for this heart of mine. Heart is hers. Take her heart. I wonder why you'd say no. And yeah, we also get the free explosions periodically. I have to catch him, which is risky in and of itself. But it's a good way of hitting enemies. Oh boy. But yeah, no regular attack to speak of. It's all based on triggers. Ow. I have to watch this better. Because yeah, I've already taken a lot of damage. It is the one downside. Okay, gain light, go to the store. Gain light. Because silly as it sounds, I think I might want another disc. I think this guy's regular attack is actually the catchable explosions. Which is kind of cool, actually. Because it's a guaranteed hit, as long as I can catch it. I keep getting, getting light. Yeah, so except for the fact that I'm pretty wounded here. We're kind of in a good position. Ah, didn't get, get it. Fine. And I should be using my cleanses here. Especially if it looks like I've got a fastball coming in. Or really just as long as we have... That didn't work. Uh, as long as we're down one, we might as well kind of use it when it seems like it's going to be convenient. Okay, go for the shrine. Could go for the heal. That's tempting. But yeah, let's just go Mad Disc. Okay. I wonder if the discs come out in sequence. It looks like they do. I wonder if there's a way to crank up the fire rate on that. Cleanse back. Light orbs from the top. And we're not gaining anything. Uh, let's just go for the heal. I wasn't seeing my explosives show up. 
I'll have to look at what the trigger condition is for that. Probably on disc hit. And fortunately, these falling demons are causing me some amount of consternation. Because there's not much I can do about them. And they home in on me sideways. But yeah, unlike other characters who have a direct attack, there's only so much I can do. Do I want to go shrine? Absolutely. If I can find any way of getting all of my discs to go out at once. Then we want it dearly. Ooh, that was close. Oh. Probably should have used a cleanse there, in retrospect. Now, cleanse does not stop those guys. Adventurous store. Event. Invest, lose all modes. Old money box, double earned motes of light until you lose or spend any. That's rough. I wonder if it's on my subsequent hits. That if, if I get the juggle. That's what causes those to come down, maybe. Maybe. Ah. Deserve that. Okay. Just one guy left. And with the explosion, we're good. I'm gonna go for the heal. Doubling the urn moats might have been a good idea, but alas. Nope. Didn't get it. It's fine. Given with an explosion. I know if I I can actually increase that damage at all. That's okay. I kind of wish this character, or I hope there's an ability that makes it so if you hit a ball downwards, it bounces up even harder. Kind of just like a, I don't know, a spike. Okay. Step back. Yeah, part of it is having like a ton of these flying around simultaneously does increases, increase our chances of getting a fastball. There we go. Store or shrine? Let's see what the store has. I might not get it, though. Crit chance. Crit chance. Every enemy on fire? Nope, we're just leaving. Unfortunately, we're going to the boss fight kind weaker than I'd like it to be, but it's fine. Okay. Whoop. Yeah, I gotta make sure I'm not in the dead center. There we go. Oop. Knew that was coming. Okay, he's gonna do that. And then we get to the side. 
and we stay on the side. Because he's only dangerous due to my own impatience more than anything else. Dang. Oh. I'm gonna do that. Avoid. Whoop. I should use cleanse. Yeah, this is the farthest I've ever gotten on this fight. And understandably, I don't know what I'm doing. I forgot about that one. Okay, like the character, I think Artemis is probably my best. Let's go for upgrades. We have something. Lock items in the shop, additional boss rewards, additional heart at the start. Oh, but that's expensive. Increased damage bonus. Yeah, let's just snag that. Okay, let's go for her. She's got the piercing daggers, which is probably my best bet. And also the arrows are kind of nice. I like Ballman, but once you get enough discs on any of the other characters, they become kind of just about as good. We'll see. The other thing I should do is actually maybe go to a shop at some point. Uh, let's see, gain light because going to the shop at this point is silly. I deserve that. Yeah, the one problem is I have kind of enemy blindness uh, that I'll be, you know, just running around and then just, whoops, took a bunch of damage uh, because there was something to the side that I hadn't really processed. Which is kind of my bad, but what am I supposed to do about it? Event, take the deal. Uh, let's see. Start with the active disc guard. Oh, I see. I'm going to completely waste it. But 50 modes for it is still probably not the best deal. Uh, I thought I timed my velocity there. You know what? I should actually just shoot this thing. Because if there's only one enemy left, then... Don't even bother hitting it with the disc. Okay, store heal. I guess I'll go for the heal. There's no point in going to the store at the moment. His baseline, like, all I could do is heal anyway. And what's the point of that? Or what's the point of spending money for that when you have the ability to just get that for free? Not doing the best financially here, but that's okay. Wanted that one. It's fine. Bye. I guess the other thing I should pay attention to is different characters do have different disc damage values. So the last guy definitely did a lot more damage. I think it's a trade off, though. Okay, avoid those guys. They don't do that much damage, but they do enough. But I don't want to mess with it too much. Store, gain light. We want like 200. Before I go shopping. I almost kind of wish this followed 
I'm gonna say Bullet Heaven uh, upgrade systems. Maybe. I don't know, it's one of those where uh, some part of me is like, I like what I've seen so far, uh, but I almost kind of wish the upgrades were guaranteed and a little bit more frequent. But I recognize that that instantly makes the game considerably harder to balance. And I guess I have been getting an amount of upgrades. Get a disc. I don't think I'm going to go more than three discs on this character, though. After a certain point, it becomes overkill without the right perks to really make it work. Namely, I would need uh, something that makes it so I fire my discs out faster. Like two at a time or something. Because that would certainly do the trick. I've got to imagine that is a thing that can be obtained, maybe. Adventure store. I do actually have a decent amount of money, but take the bobble. Uh, let's see. Or let's go for the attack speed, because that's really good on this character. I do like the the breakout elements tie back into it, you know, the on every juggle. I wish there were some that triggered based on how uh, actually hitting enemies. Did not get it. It's fine. Send those off. And yeah, the extra attack speed with the homing arrows is quite good. They're not exactly homing, they just have better aim. Nope, they home a little bit. Gain light, event. Crown of Thorns. On taking damage, 50 damage to all enemies. Sure, you come across a field of crucifixes and notice an individual still nailed to a cross. I've spent an eternity here. I was a thief in life and I've never gained forgiveness. Allevi alleviate his pain. I don't actually know how much damage I'm going to be taking, but, I'd, like, why wouldn't I pick these? You know what, actually? Uh, since, since I just asked that question, I actually kind of wish there was a reason to say no to these characters. Uh, like, a really basic, boring stat boost. So it's like, do I want this thing that I'm maybe not going to use much? Uh, if I'm lucky, or good? Or would I rather just do, like, two more disc damage, or two more arrow damage? Because that would actually make the, the choice tough. I'd probably take the arrow damage, to be entirely honest. Do we want to gain light? No, let's actually go shopping for once. So what can we buy? Passive increase of two disc damage, 5% crit chance, 5% damage boost. Not bad. On wave start, gain a new disc. I don't... Is that permanent? I don't quite have enough. That's okay. I don't think we do fire damage anyway. Okay, so they're gonna do the... Shots. They're gonna do the drop. Don't go with the heart. Ah. Entirely my fault. Okay, there's those, there's the drop. And we're already on to phase two. Yeah, so unfortunately for this, 
I'm kind of incentivized to stay in the center briefly. Gonna do that. Then they do the drop. Okay, good. I didn't get messed up too much. I didn't get messed up at all, really. Ah, I deserve it. There we go. So there's the five damage. Seven percent chance to f apply fire to each enemy hit, dealing two fire damage every second for ten seconds. Or on fastball juggle, spawn an active discard. Ooh, I think I'm gonna go for the wheel of Kronos. This one would be this one would be good, but I think we want to get more fastballs first. So that's the first time I've actually beaten that boss because I'm okay at this game. Not tempted by lust, I see. No matter, the pox will get you. Oh, it's these guys. Yeah, so it seems like it's kind of fixed biomes now. Though that would be kind of interesting. After clearing a zone, it gets added to the generalized pool, so you can run into like an easy pox as your starting zone. But yeah, if you notice, the enemy attacks are purple now. Because I like the idea of it being fixed and predictable early. Oh, we're just going to be getting fastballs constantly here. That's actually really good. Uh, let's see, gain light, no, events. Hmm. Old coin for every 100 motes you hold, 5% bonus damage. It's okay. I don't know how much I'm actually going to be using that. But I am going to be getting my cleanses back nonstop, so I should be using them and building around them pretty aggressively here. There we go. Is this one's probably going to be a fastball? No. Was on the way down, but that's fine. 25 motes of light. Ouch. Yeah, I wish I had that bo boss perk of fast fastballs also summon a ball guard. Because, boy, we'd be able to use that for some things. Oh, that almost got me. Yeah, so we might want to increase our cleanse capacity if we get some shrines. Ouch. Heal? Nah. We're not that hurt yet. I want to kill the little laser dudes. Okay. And that does not stun them out of using the puke. Whoop. Okay, kill that guy. Let's just clear the field. At least it tells me where those lasers are going to be. I actually kind of wish for the boss fight. I did take some damage. We just cleared it. Increase luck. On cleanse, on an upwards draft, pushes all disc upwards for a little while. On fastball hit, explosion that does five 
damage. So we want to grab both of these. I might still die here. Oh, that's how the cleanse works. Fascinating. Okay, let's go for that heal. We are going to want a shrine to max my HP up. Okay, this is a build. This is why I was saying I was kind of hoping, uh, I was kind of wishing this actually had uh, bullet heaven. Upgrades. Upgrades? Yeah. Upgrade pacing. Maybe not quite that fast, but just like after every wave, you get like a thing. Maybe. You do, but it, half of it is like gain light. Uh, let's see. Engulfed in flame that. It is engulfed in flame but unburnt. For each disc hit, apply fire to a random enemy. Ooh, yep. I guess I could have said no. There we go. Yeah, going fastball build is, um, working incredibly well. Ah, those guys explode. Got it. Both of those there, I think. Yeah, I'm currently out of cleanses, which is a bit of an issue. Oh, there was a fastball there. Yeah, problem is... The ones that do become the fastballs, I'm not actually able to use. Oh, God. Nope. That's on cleanse getting a huge number of stats, but it hurts you. Super not worth the effort. Or the upgrade? It's just, it ain't worth it. Exactly. Let's just do a cleanse. Send that off. Yeah, even if I slap them sideways, it still gives me a good fastball boost. Events? Yeah, I keep picking these. Give max HP. Oh. On losing last heart, heal back to three health. It's destroyed if it's activated. Uh, risky. A shrine or two here would actually be kind of banger good. Just to give me the ability to uh, get some of that max HP back. Because yeah, the extra max cleanses are nice, but we get those. So they're not as pivotal. Send that out. Let them burn. Yeah, see, this is where that, that one fire upgrade would have been really good. Ah. Hit my own disc with another disc. Wasting the potential fastball. That's eh, fine. We get him we get him back pretty easily. Okay, gain light, store. Store. We're going into a boss fight here. Crit chance, luck. 
I'm gonna re-roll. These are not that amazing for me. One to fire fire damage is actually kind of really good. Prayer tassel and sure to flame. We are getting a lot of upgrades. I will admit. Okay. That there. My one issue is I don't see where those hands are coming from. Boy, that hurt. Yeah, that updraft is great. Oh. I see. The hands come from where my balls drop. Ow. What? Not actually sure what hit me there. That is a shame because that was actually a really good run. Uh, it was probably just a random, uh, random hand or an enemy shot or something. Either way, what a game. Uh, hmm. What do we want to get? More radiant shards every run. Oh, that's just more meta progression. Decrease the gravity of discs. I actually don't know if that's good. Decrease the time between launching discs. That's a big one. Discount in the shop. Yeah, getting a lot of these upgrades is probably going to make the game easier as well. Do we do one more run? You know what? They're short enough unless I'm doing really well. Oh, yeah, we got some other characters. So we have Bai, deity that is the personification of force. A hero of the great titan of war. Celestial flail capable of explosive power on three juggles. Release a projectile that penetrates enemies, causing an explosion all enemies hit. Uh, let's see, sling that was used to fell giants and rattle armies. And nails from the cross, on weapon hit, 5% chance to splinter, splinter nails from the enemies. Tempting. Or Soder. Uh, let's see, one disc, more HP. Throwing star of the ever changing and silent on three juggles, release barrages of homing projectiles, deal damage per hit. Axe used to cleave the world into existence, a slow-firing weapon which penetrates through enemies, dealing 15 weapon damage, and unclean spawn a shield that absorbs projectiles and lasts until a disc is lost. Interesting. Let's go, let's go with buy for now. Yep. And there goes one of my cleanses right off the bat. Pretty good basic attacks. Okay, the the flail is cool. And I can see that being incredibly helpful against uh, the first boss, seeing as he's kind of difficult to hit. Uh, always events. Take a piece of the cube? Absolutely. In fact, I would actually argue that these, uh, the the cube is probably one of the best upgrades you can get in the game. The little corner guards aren't amazingly good, but it's permanent bouncers to keep things in play more. The main question I wonder is, does it count as me hitting them or not? Wait, why did I do that? Why would I take damage for that? I'm a doofus. Ringleader, this again. I'll take it. Let's see. So what was I going to say? Where are we? I have no idea. We're... My, my head is just in places. It is... I will say this is one of those... Weird classic roguelikes. Eh, maybe not classic, but... Yeah, how would I describe it? Keep doing events. Mystery prize. 
All discs shoot out, shoot out rays of light on a cleanse. I mean, that's okay. Especially if we can get more cleanses back. Actually, that is that is quite effective. Yep, I almost took a hit there. It is fine. Get that cleanse back. Store now. Gain light. Oh, big cash. Seventy. I think. I do think I'm gonna skip that wind upgrade that I had that last one if I can get it. I want to. <sighs> nope. Misjudged how fast it was falling. Yeah, I want to kind of address the whole like classic roguelikes. It has the same kind of general vibe as games like Binding of Isaac and whatnot. And maybe I think it's a lot of that just has to do with how it handles power-ups. Oh, I am almost dead, but that's fine. It, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I This almost feels like something I need to actually do, like a blog posty thing, rather than anything else. Than trying to explain it in a somewhat stressful roguelike where I actually have to focus on what I'm doing. That is, that is the one kind of killer bit. I'm also noticing I think I'm wasting a uh, a cleanse at the beginning of some of these rounds. Or how would I describe it? I think so much of it... Ooh, yeah. Uh, I think so much of the reason why this feels classic to me is the idea of, like, you're supposed to try and fail until you get that, like, sweet, sweet mastery. Uh, shrine? Shrine. Do I want another disc? That's tough, actually. Because the other thing is, we can skip the shrine. Like, three, maybe four discs is ideal. We could skip the shrine and go for some light. No, we don't get a whole lot of shrines. The other option we could do is actually go for the max HP. I know the logic is do not get hit forehead. Whoa. Ah. Yeah, the logic is do not get hit forehead, but that's inevitable. It's mainly the question of how bad do I let it get for me? Because that last round, our big issue mostly boiled down to we did not have enough health. Okay. Boy, there's a lot of these, like, homing skull enemies here. Ow, come on! This, this specific round level? Ooh. Dog barks. Are you a viking? I always wanted to meet a viking. Here, take this. Pet the dog. Take the bone. Uh, let's see. On disc spawn. Chance to gain 100% dodge? No, pet the dog. I knew you were a Viking. Here, take this. Uh, so it's still the bone of Ymir, but that's fine. I'll take it. So, whenever we spawn a disc... Oh. Okay. Weird build. What if I have, like, stupid discs and I keep losing them? Would that not give me 100% dodge? Always? Also, I sincerely hope there's an upgrade that makes my spheres have, uh, I don't want to say strike through, but any excess damage or, like, speed causes them to, um, well, let's see, excess damage or speed would cause them to, uh, gain the disc. 
uh, pierce through enemies. Currently, they just bounce off of one, but it would be really cool to have, like, one hell of a fastball going that just, like, gets huge and then meteors across the entire freaking stage. Oh, I see. It's not a 100% chance. Still, I think it's worth it. So, my chances of becoming fully immune to damage by just endlessly losing all of my balls. Uh, okay, if I put it that way, it sounds weird, but... I could actually see that being a somewhat cromulent strategy with the right upgrades. I don't think we have enough for a store, so let's just keep getting money, and it's boss time. We are injured, which is not great. However, I'm getting to the point where I can do this this boss hitless. Be over the side. Okay. Unfortunately, a lot of my auto-aim attacks specifically target the shield enemies. Which is not great for me. Ah. I did not have as big of a hitbox as I wanted on that one. That's okay. I could do that. Then we wait for the hearts to go by. Then we sit center. big issue mostly is just avoiding a couple of those hits. But if I hang out here, it's not so bad. Oops. I think I would have been fine there, but that could have gone badly for me. those. Avoid that. Go back to hang out in the center, and he's dead. Okay, perfect. So, speed for discs to fast ball. Uh, three disc damage, crit chance, and a damage boost. Ooh. Slow firing secondary weapon does for weapon damage. Lock of hair is actually tempting. But I'm still thinking Wheel of Kronos. Because... There's a lot of things that synergize off of Fastball. And if I can synergize heavily off of Fastball, we can potentially just, like, demolish. We haven't visited a shop yet, and I've got a decent amount of money, so we might get lucky enough. I want that upgrade that is Fastball hits give you the, um... Oh, there's a skull. Just one of the little skull dudes. Hanging out there. Those guys are going to mess me up. Because I have some trouble reading their presence. Oh. Yeah, I almost ate that one. Because yeah, I'm not expecting an enemy to be down in my space. At least they don't have that much HP. I guess I, I could actually just be underneath him. Gain light. Small cash. Bit. Is going to be a fastball. Are you not? No. 
that's going to be a fastball. Yeah, I can get my cleanses back pretty easily here due to the fastball synergy. And that's the other reason why I think I'm always going to pick that one, even if the other ones seem like they'd be really good from a damage perspective. Is that... I get both uh, free cleanses and way more fastballs as a result of this perk. But this is one of those games that's going to have like one super ex one or two super experts behind it that just like know exactly how to break it over their knees. Increase attack speed, uh, fire damage over time, on cleanse, upper draft. No. These are actually pretty good. Can I get both? No. So let's go for the dual C. Yeah. The luck is interesting. I don't actually know if the blades are really that good. It'll let me hit some of the skull enemies. Which feels like it's got some potential. I think it's going to get me more light at the very least. Okay, get him with a cleanse. Ooh. A lot of these guys everywhere. But that's okay. Do we heal? No. We go to event. Give him max HP. I'll take it. We do want to hit a shrine, though. Because, yeah, we want to be ideally proccing. our flail as much as we possibly can. Because that thing rips? It rips. Oop. Gotta be careful. Don't want to just eat shots erroneously. Right. And I should, I really should not be dodging projectiles kind of in my space. Gain light, go to event. Okay. Cult was attempting to summon abomination. It's still tethered to this plane by their incantations. We need to act quickly. This weapon can pierce through the rituals. Help me. Bowline. Uncleanse, release a projectile directly in front. Pierces all in. Yup. Okay, so is this a mid boss? Oh, it's just a boss boss. But yeah, I can just hit him with a projectile. Okay, good dodge. Avoid those, don't want to get blown up. Ah. Entirely my fault. Yeah, at this point, I should be using cleanse constantly. Because it does a bunch of damage to him. Okay. I think I almost walked into a projectile there. That would have been embarrassing and bad. I wonder if this guy counts as a boss for the sake of giving me a goodie.
Okay. Set that off. Got him. Alright, gain light, gain light. We don't have enough. Big ups. I'll get plenty of fastballs to restock. Oh yeah, there they are. Right. I forgot I also get all of my cleanses back on a per round basis. Gotta be slightly more accurate. But that's okay. Yeah, those priesty looking guys give all nearby enemies uh, invincibility, which is a little hard to work around. Do we want to go shopping? Absolutely. Some of these are good. Oh. Let's get the health. Okay. So we now have a constantly moving paddle that also keeps my dudes in the air. And also my orbs have... My orbs, my discs, my balls, uh, they have little orbiting damage things. They only do a little bit, but it's fine. My only disappointment is that my, my paddle at the bottom is kind of small. I feel like it would be really cool if you could get multiple of those. Like, imagine if you had a build that was so, like, jacked uh, in terms of, like, paddles and blockers and whatnot that you literally could not drop anything. You still have to catch the fastballs. Okay, event. Small imp approaches you. It seems rather harmless. It offers you an item to help on your quest. Increase of damage boost... Crit chance, sure. So 20% extra damage, crit, and then disc damage. Which I will not say no to. We do actually have a lot of passives here. So I think I will recant. I think it doesn't need bullet heaven upgrades, though I kind of wish there was, you know what, would actually do exactly what I want. If this had the Niao from, um, uh, from Slay the Spire, specifically just like a, here is one cool relic to start your runoff, uh, just so you have kind of a feeling of like, hey, progression, uh, another disc is tempting, but we're going to go for the max HP. Okay. Looks like I'm still in need of a cleanse. But I'm too worried about it. Just hit him with the disc. Unfortunately, I think the, the flying disc is not amazing. Or not the disc, the uh the cleanse strike. I think it's not that good. Just gain light. Not as much as I'd like, but it's boss time. I'm somewhat. Oh boy. That is gonna be the problem. But we do get a lot of cleanses. How? I... Wait, didn't I have the cauldron? Alright, whatever. Yeah, the one problem with having too many balls is uh, you do open yourself up to that pretty well. I could decrease gravity, uh, disc gravity, which is an option. 
Uh, let's see. Discount on the shop, actually. Let's see. Fire damage slightly. Disc damage. Sure. Let's grab those. But for now, I think I'm going to stop it here. I really like this game. It is a fresh combination of two pre-existing, very arcadey games with a roguelike twist, and it very much fits my theory that roguelikes are just the new arcade games. People just haven't started calling them that. And I'm... I don't know. I, I dig it. It it feels kind of fresh and fun going back to games that I used to play when I was younger. I uh, used to play a lot of Galaga at the uh, pediatrician uh, going for a, a checkup, either for my brother or myself. You know, it would be, we'd always show up early, so we'd have like a half hour wait, and then it would be both my brother and myself, so one of us would be playing Galaga while the other was getting checked out, and then we'd trade off, and there was just something really charming about that. Uh, but I don't really play Galaga anymore because, you know, I got better games to play. But I remember it fondly, and uh, I didn't play Breakout as much. Like, it was fun, but it wasn't, like, really my thing. Uh, but the combination of kind of a Galaga Breakout roguelike is a lot of fun, and I really dig it. The music is great. The upgrade, uh, the cool upgrade synergies are a lot of fun. Like, I can... I can really see a extremely powerful fastball special if you can get the right power-ups to just keep them in the air forever. But it also did have some serious issues with that last boss fight of I had too many fastballs and too many balls and I could not catch them all and I could not juggle those limes so he slapped me in the butt for it. And eh, so be it. Either way, uh, so I might as well mention that a great uh, Against Great Darkness is out... Uh, it should be out today, if not today, in like a day or two on April 10th. Uh, so go check it out if it's caught your attention. It very much feels like the perfect kind of high skill ceiling, wild build variety roguelike that I've enjoyed in the past. And it's got a lot of challenge, so you're going to have to work to, to get there. But boy, I bet, it's, I bet it's worth it once you get to that point. Anyway, with all that said, if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.